All right, NB Fitness Club followers, we are here with Scotty Mack, GM of NB Fitness Club. Hello there. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> How is uh, quarantine treating you? How have you been keeping uh, busy during this crazy time? Yeah, it's doing okay. We've been busy. Yeah. Um, trying to stay busy. Have the, had some work to do, so it's been busy with emails and reports and stuff like that um, from the work end of it, but... Also trying to be busy uh, at home, family, uh, trying to get some stuff done around the house too. So Chase Drew around all day? Chasing, chasing Drew around, yes. Uh, that's probably the busiest part of every day is keeping him occupied. Yeah. And, so it's been fun. Nice. Um, have you learned any new skills or acquired any new talents since you've been at um, home? I have. We've been doing doodling a lot. I know you like to draw. I'm a big drawer, um, yep. Aside from like stick figures, I wasn't very good at doodling, but I don't know if you know who Mo Willems is. He's the, the writer for the, uh, the pigeon books. I'm so not aware, but I've heard the pigeon books are amazing. So yeah, there's, there's a series of them. So that's one of Drew's favorite books. So Mo Willems did some YouTube videos, basically teaching people how to draw his characters. So oh. you, uh, it was called Doodle with Mo William, Mo Willems. And we would is sit Drew down. doing this with you? Yes, we would all sit down. Uh, we pull it up on YouTube on the TV and and whatever he was drawing. So we've all kind of become very good at drawing the pigeon. Do you have any pictures handy that you can show uh, us? I, I don't. I could try and draw one. No, that's okay. <laughs> we don't uh, have that much time. <laughs> no. but so yeah, so I've become a little bit, little bit of an artist. There you go. I've been doing a lot of coloring, so I totally think that uh, coloring has has relaxed people in a lot of ways that they didn't realize. So look at you. You just realized you can color and relax or doodle. Um, we're doing a lot of like crafts. Yeah. There you go. Um, what is the part that you miss most since you've been in quarantine? Oh, I miss physically being at the gym with staff and seeing the members that we're used to seeing every day and, you know, the interaction that you have. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you know, we become yeah. friends with a lot of our members, and it's like, I, I do have, I do have, you know, some text messages that I've exchanged with members that I'm very good friends with. But I just miss seeing everybody and being in in the atmosphere of actually being at the gym. Yes, the day. So I agree. Not, Who would have thought, thing. man? You know, I know it's crazy. I mean, I guess yes, we can imagine that we would miss people, but we're yeah. lucky. I guess we're lucky that we miss our work because a lot of people probably yeah. are pumped to never have to go into their office. Yeah, I mean, I've always loved what I do, yeah. and, and especially working working at the club. But you kind of take it for granted that you know I might have a bad day at work every now and then. Yeah, but like it, we really are lucky to have the membership base that we have. Definitely, for sure. I've got a lot of really good emails from members, which so thank you all for reaching out to check yeah. on us. Um, it, you know, it's been pretty it's been pretty good in that sense. Um, what do you like most about quarantine? Uh, I do like being home to spend time with, with the family a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. during a regular work day, I'm out of the house for 10 to 12 hours and maybe only see, you know, see the family for like an hour or two hours a day. And it's just kind of hectic. Yeah. I, early morning trying to get out of the house and then hectic getting home from work late and, and trying to. This is the complete there. opposite. Now you're there all the time. Yeah. You know, it's been one thing that's been really nice is having like sit down family meals every night. Yeah. At, like a reasonable hour, like 530 ish. I would like to hope that a lot of families are doing that now just because they can, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, we usually go out to eat on weekends. Um, so like we miss going out to a restaurant and like just sitting down and like having like food at a restaurant. Like, yeah. That's know, not takeout. <laughs> Yeah, being home and, and making meals has, has been good, but like I, I'm looking forward to being able to sit down at a restaurant and like just yeah. have some food. Yeah. Have to prepare and clean up after. Um, any fitness or wellness advice that you can give oh. NB Fitness Club followers, anybody out there who's who's watching this? Yeah, I, I know it's hard. Like for me, I'm I'm a person that needs to have a gym to work out in. Like I'm more motivated if I have the stuff yeah in the gym like yeah I, I get distracted at home like I'll start to try and do something I'm like oh well I should really probably do this I, oh I forgot to do this at home or 
I sit in the computer and do work or I do, you know, play with Drew or whatever. So trying to get like a, as normal of a routine for fitness as possible. I mean, I, I I'm happy we were able to offer the zoom classes we have. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Drew's probably worked out more than I have in the past two months. Yeah, I think I think you're probably right. He's definitely made appearances on our social media more than you have. Good instructional videos, which I should probably follow, but um, yeah, it's just been hard. I mean, if, if people are not, they don't have equipment or, you know, not even equipment, but body weight exercise, they just don't have the time or the structure to do stuff on your own. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that's probably the hardest part. He's trying to keep active in all the ways. Go for walks. I find myself just trying to get outside, like just to physically walk. I yeah, put a podcast gone, on in my headphones and just walk. Yeah, we've gone for a lot of walks. Uh, yeah. Which is nice, so. Well, good advice. Good advice. I think that um, you need to start sending me some more fitness videos of yourself. So that could be part of your routine now. What do you think? Yeah, maybe. We'll work on that. I sent a couple. They weren't that good, though. Um, okay, so I have r- 10 rapid fire questions for you. Okay. Okay, so sweet or savory? Sweet. Rom-com or horror film? Uh, ooh, probably horror film. Beer, wine, or hard liquor? Uh, all of the above for the last two months. Uh, I usually prefer beer, though. Uh, palm tree or Christmas tree? Uh, palm tree. Warm or cold? Warm. Push-up or sit-up? Push-ups. Sand or snow? Sand. TV or book? Uh, TV. Yeah. Disney or Nickelodeon? Oh, Disney. And last but not least, music or podcast? Music. All right, there you go. Like music. I'm almost positive that you were identical to Kyle. Oh, nice. You and Trainer Kyle have similar views on these items. I see a lot of myself in young Trainer Kyle. I know. You know what? You walk around the gym, and I swear you just you think you're more like him every day, don't you? <laughs> know glory days glory days there you go well thank you for hopping on with us uh we definitely all miss being all together but it's nice to at least get to zoom chat with you yeah and hopefully we'll all be together again soon and to all the members thank you for your patience thank you for support and we miss you guys and we look forward to seeing you all yes all right well thanks scott tell drew and amy we say hello i will okay bye, bye.